Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I dealt with some sanded through veneer and a lot of repairs to give this waterfall dresser a new life. I had been wanting to make over a waterfall dresser for a while, so when I saw this one for free, I knew I had to pick it up. Little did I know that there was a lot of work cut out for me in this one. It was missing some drawer slides, a drawer had a gap at the bottom, a lot of the dovetail joints were loose, and the decorative trim piece was barely holding on. Whoever had it before had tried to refinish it and had stripped everything for me, but unfortunately had sanded through a lot of the veneer on all the drawer edges and large patches of veneer on the top drawer. A lot of the rest of the dresser also needed repair work as well, so I definitely had my work cut out for me on this one. I went ahead and removed the decorative pieces so I could reattach them later. I also removed this decorative piece at the top because I thought it would look better without it. Next I moved on to making some new drawer slides using a scrap piece of 1x6 that I had. I just measured the existing drawer slide and drew out the profile onto the 1x6. I used my jigsaw to make the cut on both ends. Here's how my new slide looked compared to the old one. Since one drawer had a gap in the bottom, I originally planned on replacing the bottom, so I started taking the drawer apart by gently hitting it with a rubber mallet. I was able to remove the drawer front and remove this random nail, but I didn't label which side was the top and that ended up giving me some trouble later on. I used a scraper and a mallet to remove the wooden blocks on the bottom so I could detach the drawer bottom. Unfortunately, there were a few nails in the sides that I didn't see and I ended up breaking a part of the drawer side. I was able to just add a lot of wood glue and clamp it back together and that seemed to be pretty sturdy once the glue dried.
For all of the drawers with loose dovetail joints, I put some wood glue in a syringe to get into the joints and clamped it together to dry. One drawer had a loose piece at the back, so again I used wood glue and clamps to fix it. Another drawer was really badly bowed at the back. To fix that, I poured some hot water on it, placed bricks on top of it to push it flat, and left it in the sun to dry for a few hours, and that ended up working really great. I wasn't entirely sure what I was going to use for hardware, but I went ahead and filled in all the holes with wood filler. So after going to the store and seeing the price of a piece of plywood to replace the drawer bottom, I just decided to put the old one back in and cover the gap with a piece of cord around trim. The person who tried to flip the dresser before me had done this with all the other drawers, so I did the same with this one. It's probably not the best look, but it works and it was the most cost effective solution. And right here is where I messed up. I put the drawer front on upside down since I didn't label which side was the top. I didn't realize my mistake until it was too late and the glue had dried, so I had to use a heat gun to loosen up the glue.
I used a chisel to get into the dovetails and help separate the joint. Luckily, eventually I was able to remove the drawer front, remove some of the old glue, and reattach the drawer the correct way. One drawer slide on the bottom of the drawer was loose, so I added some wood glue and weighed it down to dry. Another drawer slide had come off completely, so again I used wood glue to reattach it and also added a nail at the back for extra security. Moving on to more repairs, the side of the dresser had some peeling veneer, so again wood glue and the syringe came to the rescue. On the other side of the dresser, the veneer was completely gone, so I patched it with Bondo. The top of the dresser where I removed the decorative piece now had a gap. 
I cut a piece of scrap 3 quarter inch plywood to fit and nailed it and glued it in place. There were some small gaps that I filled with spackle. The front of the dresser was missing an arched piece, so I cut a new one out of a scrap piece of 2x4. I traced the arch shape onto the wood and cut it out with my jigsaw. And then I used my sander to smooth everything out. If I just put the 2x4 arch on the dresser, there was going to be some weird gaps, so for the top part, I glued and nailed on a piece of quarter round trim. Next I added on the arched piece with glue and nails. And then for the sides, I had some decorative trim pieces that I had taken off an old coffee table, so I cut them to size and nailed and glued them into place. I used spackle to fill all the nail holes and then went around all the edges with caulk for a really seamless look. On the inside of the dresser, the nail that held the drawer slide in place had come loose and made grooves in the wood. I used quick wood to fill that in so it would be strong for me to nail into again later.
Finally, with all the repairs done, it's time for sanding. I sanded all sides of the drawers with 220 grit sandpaper to remove the leftover stripper and glue and to really clean them up. I gave the dresser a scuff sand with 120 grit sandpaper to rough up the surface before painting and I sanded down the bondo as well to make that smooth. For the curved portion, I used a sanding sponge and 120 grit sandpaper. I used wood glue and nails to reattach the decorative pieces. I finally moved on to painting using a forest green one step paint and once again using the paint on and roll off method.
Here's how it looked after two coats. The left side of the dresser had a big cut in the veneer that I had glued down and it looks really noticeable on camera but it's not really that bad in person. But I do also do a bad job of stirring my paint as I'm using it and I ended up with a patchy finish in some spots. To fix the patchy finish, I smoothed everything out with 300 grit sandpaper and gave the entire dresser a coat of polycrylic which evened out the finish. I used 220 grit sandpaper to sand down the wood filler on the hardware holes. I used a golden oak stain to stain the, all of the drawer fronts. Here you can see that the wood filler and the large patches of veneer didn't take the stain, so I had to come up with something to fix that. The veneer on all of the edges of the drawers had also been sanded through, so I painted a quarter inch border around all of them. For the large patches of damaged veneer on the top drawer, I taped out a triangle shape to cover it up with paint. I went over all of the edges of the tape with polycrylic before painting so I could get crisp, clean lines.
Then I painted the drawers with the same green paint. Once the paint was dry, it was time for the satisfying tape peel. To cover up the old hardware holes, I decided to make my own wooden drawer pulls. I didn't video it because it was my first time using my new router, but I followed a video by Brad at Fix This Build That, and I've linked the video in the description if you want to check it out. It was really helpful. I wanted to add a little something to the handles, so I used a carving bit in my Dremel to carve a line in the handles. I also used my Dremel to sand the finger pull part of the handles and hand sanded the rest of them with 220 grit sandpaper. I used the same golden oak stain on the carved line on all the handles. Once the stain was dry, I used the same green paint to paint the rest of the handles. All that was left to do was attach the handles, and here's how it turned out. 
It's not perfect by any means, but I really love how it turned out. This piece needed a lot more work than any other piece I've ever worked on, and I'm proud of myself for finishing it. I also really, really like the homemade handles that I made, and I surprised myself with my creative solutions for the problems with this dresser. I hope you like this dresser transformation too, and I'll see you in the next one.